using similar triangles to explain slope, lesson 11.3d. Similar triangles have two pairs of corresponding angles. We can use similar triangles to show that the slope of a line is constant. We'll need a ruler or straight edge for this lesson. So in step one, we're going to draw a line L that isn't horizontal. It's not horizontal, so we want it to be on a slant. Then label four points on the line as A, B, C, D. We can also do this on a coordinate grid. That might help you understand it more. We need to show that the slope between points A and B is the same as the slope between C and D. So for step two, we draw the rise and the run for the slope between points A and B. And we label the intersection as point E. We draw the rise and the run for the slope between points C and D and label the intersection as point F. For step three, we write expressions for the slope between A and B and between C and D. The slope between A and B is the rise over the run, so it's BE over AE. And the slope between C and D is the rise over the run, DF over CF. So now we have the slope for A and B and the slope for C and D. Step four, we extend line AE, so we're going to extend it all the way across horizontally, and CF. We're going to put them all the way across our drawing. Line AE and line CF are both horizontal lines, so they're parallel. Line L is a transversal that intersects parallel lines. So here we have our two parallel lines, and we have our transversal cutting through the parallel lines. If you don't know what transversals are, or if you don't remember, we did that in video 11.1a. I'm going to put a link to video 11.1a in the description of this video. So we have our slope A and B as BE over AE, and slope CD as DF over CF. Step five is that angle BAE, BAE, so that's this angle, and angle DCF, which is this angle, are corresponding angles and are congruent. Angle BEA, that's this angle, and angle DFC, that's that angle, are right angles and are congruent. Step six, by angle-angle similarity, triangle ABE and triangle CDF are similar triangles. Step seven, the lengths of corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional. Therefore, we can write the ratio of BE, this rise, over DF, this rise. And we can write AE, this run, over CF, this run. So carefully look at this. We have the two rises and we have the two runs. For step eight, we can also write the proportion so that the ratios compare parts of the same triangle. We had the two rises and then the two runs. Well, it can be written as the rise over the run, the rise over the run. This proportion shows that the ratios we wrote back in step three are equal. So the slope of line L is constant. Back in step three, we had BE over AE and DF over CF. Since the slope is constant, any two other points on the line L will have the same slope as these. We're finished with part D. We're moving on to the last part, going further. That's in between this last part of 11.3 coming before 11.4. We're going to be using similar triangles to prove a constant slope. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep trying, keep going, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.